My name is Sarah Smith. I went into teaching because I love kids and I love seeing that light dawn in their eyes when they understand something. I had a student come into my classroom last year. She was shy. She was just really closed off. I could tell right away this girl had a perspective and a voice, but she just didn't know how to turn the volume up. My neighborhood isn't the safest to live in. I've been recruited to be in gangs since I was around seven, eight. I honestly didn't care about school. I didn't really like it. I didn't feel there was much purpose to it. One day we were working through a guru collection on the sources and forms of prejudice. Go ahead and log on to Guru. Which asks students to analyze where prejudice is found and how it personally affects their lives. The prejudice unit was a spark for me. Being Hispanic and African American, there's always different jokes. It hurts people's feelings. Sometimes we may not show what we feel, but we still feel it. Shortly after the Guru Collection, I received an email from Elsie that was this beautifully written poem that explored some of her story. And I could see the shift beginning in Elsie. It's funny, isn't it? How you wake up completely different than the other day. To no longer see yourself broken is beautiful. Everything that tore me down in the past is what made me keep going. I am loud, I am courageous, I am proud, I am a leader, and so much more. I found myself. I am living now. I'm solving daily problems. Difficult? Yes. Impossible? Not even in my vocabulary. It's been a joy and a highlight of my teaching career to watch the transformation in Elsie, and I know for a fact that it started in that guru collection. Because of Guru, I love coming to school now. I enjoy learning. I would be the first one to finish college in my family. I am now this new person who's happy and fulfilled.